All right, you ready for this? Yep. All right, mostly just don't want to hit Michelangelo. Let's do it. Damn! Oh. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And the owner of this channel is actually creating a competing store to five below called Four for More. She only went with the fourth thing because she can only count up to four on her paw. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Nickelodeon bargain hunting flip. You bought 144 Pajelli Huchos? Free shipping. It's about to get a whole lot brighter rep pack because your boy is here. And today is one of my favorite days because we are going to be going bargain hunting. We've been doing some awesome hunts recently, going to flea markets with my mom. We've had a lot of fun, but we haven't gone back to the retail stores in quite a little while. And one of my favorite places in the entire world, Mitchell, is Five Below, Five Below, Five Below. You wanna know why it's my favorite store? Why? Chill. Well, I need to know right now. <laughs> Cause it's flapping flats, I'm cheap, okay? It's super, super cheap. It's cheap as the crusty crustacean himself. And not just that, we are able to get some awesome premium merchandise there. We've gotten some items like the freaking toothbrush holder. We've gotten the disc launcher. We've gotten plushies. We've gotten so many awesome things at Five Below for absolutely, like I said, flapping flats, I'm cheap. But we've also not been to Five Below in over two months. And that's hard to believe, right? I just felt like we just Went. I felt like just two weeks ago me and Parker were over there, but that was over two months ago So who knows what they've got in stock since then we're gonna go check it out add some stuff to the collection as always But can't get out the door without my favorite man taking a hit. Oh, you thought that was it. Oh, oh no it's that. Oh I really gotta stop. We don't have another life. <laughs> anyway, let's get in the car and head to five below Cosmo Wanda I wish I was in the car Man, that's super f up. Guess I gotta walk on my own Man, you got to just poof in here. I had to walk. Yeah, yeah, poof was also in here. Uh, he got here before you. <laughs> Come on, dude. Could we not just, you know, poof to the store instead? No, there's limits to this. So we gotta drive all the way there? Well, yeah, I wish for the car, so I gotta use it. Oh, that makes sense. I wish Mitchell was more understanding, Cosmo wanted. That'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, so we're gonna go to Five Below right now. I'll let you guys when we get there. You guys know what I'm hunting for. Anything spongy, Nickelodeon, Disney, who knows what they've got there. We're just gonna have a lot of fun, see if we can get some candy. And also, Mitchell's never been to five below before. No, nope, That's that crazy. It's like the new Toys R Us because there's no Toys R Us now. You also don't need to be a Prince of Persia to afford anything there. So <laughs> five below is like our new go-to when it comes to a lot of the new SpongeBob stuff. They really do drop most of the stuff there now it seems like. So I'm excited to see Mitchell's reaction to the store and what type of stuff he's gonna find in there that he thinks is cool. But not just that, find anything awesome we can add to the collection. Okay, so we got to the five below and we're gonna go in here and thankfully we're lucky this is Los Angeles. So there's another five below. It's less than five minutes from here. So if we don't find anything at this one, we might go to a second one but hopefully there's a good turnout here let's do it why is it like a disco ball for five dollars doesn't sound that bad i think i'm gonna get this just to have it like in my bathroom That's sick, yeah. <laughs> all right so we're gonna grab the disco ball guys you can see we just got in here we're already finding some fun stuff and again when stuff is under five dollars it makes you so much more willing to hop on just picking it up so i think i'm gonna get this disco ball just so we have it somewhere in my house all right, Mitch, you wanna do a little red versus blue? Oh, damn. You wanna get some gloves? You'll be the next Mitch Paul over here with the- Oh, they gotta say like Jaden Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden Smith. I don't know why. No, that's pretty cool over $5. We're gonna keep looking around, guys. Y'all can have the, uh, the old timey. <laughs> <laughs> it works pretty good. <laughs> he looks like the kind of guy that would do. <laughs> just a nice little silent, you know, little, little, uh, little airy one, you know, where it's just like barely grazing the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that must be the giant whoopee cushion. Oh yeah. Did you hear that? It's so loud too. Mitchell spotted this right here. I don't think we have this particular coloring book. We have some Coco Melon ones. We don't need any of these. We'll take this one right here, the for the collection. Dude, they have warhead cram. This sounds dangerous. You can smell this. Like it oh, says, wow. it smells like blue raspberry. Yeah, that's interesting. They have also Jolly Rancher, Fruit Loops. But we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy right here for sure. But also I don't really think I have problem grabbing one of these too. We got a Hello Kitty ball, which is kind of cool. I'll go ahead and grab the Hello Kitty ball just because it's really cute. What do you think about Five Below so far? That's oh, pretty sick how much there is already. Yeah, so we haven't barely made it stuff. anywhere. Yeah. It's like Toys R Us kind of. There's so much fun stuff for like literally so cheap that it makes you just not even, just so willing to hop on. Look at anime pins down here for a dollar. Don't need any of these today, but we got a little going one right there. Okay, so we got some more baskets down here. Again, I don't think we need any of these, but we'll keep on looking around. 
Okay, I can't even lie, dude. This is so adorable. Oh my god, Momo. This is the perfect one for headphones with them ears. Yeah, this is super cute. <laughs> we already have this guy right here, but we did not have the Momo one. So we have the Momo AirPods case to go with the Aang one. Is there any other characters like an Appa back there or anything? Or is it all Momo? It's all Momo I on mean, the side. I mean, deserve. You guys know Momo is my favorite mascot from Avatar, so we're going to pick that up. Oh, dude, check out the Forky. We can build oh, our look own, at that. We can what build our own Forky, and even if it doesn't work out, that's a giant freaking spork to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for big meals. <laughs> for big meals that might need spoons or forks. You never know, Mitchell. What if I'm eating a really, really big mystery meat for lunch? <laughs> if you're school at mystery meat, I feel bad for you, and uh, we both share that pain. Okay, I don't know if we have this already or not. I feel like we do, so I'm gonna leave it. If not, something similar. Yeah, we definitely already have this guy back here, which is still really cute though. We don't have the TMNT one, and I'm slowly starting to get a little obsession. It's like 325, I'll pick it up. Okay, so you guys know I have all the Benton figures from here in the actual Cartoon Network room. We did not have a stink fly before, so that's new. It almost makes me wonder if there's any other new ones. Oh, dude, they have the freaking out of the Omnitrex one too. Oh, we only had sick. the blue one last time, so we'll get that one too. There's Accelerate. We got Heat Blast, Stink Fly. Okay, so it looks like those are all the ones we already have, but that's actually sick. So we have a new one. I never expected them to drop a Stink Fly one for five bucks. We'll pick it up all day long. And then over here, we have some Sonic figures too. We have the Silver, we have some Mario ones. Oh, dude, and we got even a Black Clover Pop. Oh, you know, that's yeah. sick. I mean, this is in the wrong channel, but I still, I'll still pick this up, why not? And I wasn't gonna get the Izzy Hawthorne Pop a long time ago, but I mean, if it's only at $5.95, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up here at five below. Let's go ahead and grab that one as well for the toy story collection keeping everything under 20 that's way under 20. oh my god these are so oh, cute. that's like nostalgic for me i, I remember know. seeing so many of those dude i'm getting like all of these <laughs> we got freaking this one too okay that's purple let's see if we can find all of them okay we have the my melody right here too i don't see an actual hello kitty one but we did get all of these ones right here i am grabbing these all they're so fun just to move around with but we got this one here last time i think we pulled this one last time we did not get the oh no i think we got the regular Hello Kitty, but we didn't get this one right here, the pink one, so we'll pick this guy up as well. And then I have the build the figures too down here. We have the ice cream truck with the Hello Kitty Happy Home build set, which is kind of cool. I think I'm gonna grab the style. I don't know, man. I wanna freaking grab everything over here. It's like a slime thing. Like <laughs> slimy goof. Gutatama slime too at that. That's the find of the day. $10 this is in the Beyond section. You know, I'm gonna have to pull out the damn platinum card. But, <laughs> dude, $10. We get a freaking hoodie? That is not bad at all. I mean, the condition's like, you know, nothing to go run home and tell mom about. But this guy is definitely coming with us. The style is like crazy for $10. Let's get it. All right, that just made the whole trip for me. We get to add an awesome piece to the collection. Honestly, I would even wear that one. A long time ago, Park mentioned that was Windbreakers here, but I've never seen that. So that's the closest thing we've ever gotten to that. But let's keep looking around. We've already got pretty much a full basket though. We still gotta get some candy though. And I gotta make Mitchell buy some candy because yeah, right. that's how we do things here. I mean, we're probably not gonna blow this up, but I mean, for $5, I mean, it's kind of not worth it not blowing up, huh? How many are in there? Yeah, I we guess. get one foil balloon. I mean, I would get it just because of the fact that it's like worth it, but it's like $3. Okay, I'll do $3 just because it's a number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, Mitchell, so you gotta pick a candy. I'm gonna get it for you too. But this is a tradition. We got this right here. We got only two of them on the shelf. Maybe it's the gold one, or also maybe they're the ones people went for the most. But <laughs> we won't find out until we get back. If you guys haven't seen it already, there's a video on the channel where I literally taste tested every Krabby Patty that there was with my mom. You guys go check out that video. It was so much fun. And like I said, my mom was featured in it, so I highly recommend it. These look disgusting. Gummy bacon. Well, what about mac and cheese? That doesn't sound bad. Gummy I don't cheese. know. Pretty Pebble sounds okay. You can get a little gummy watermelon. Oh, dang. Pretty much everything here tastes the same. You I was going to say, anything everything. gummy probably don't taste any different. Ooh, oh, look at that. Gummy worm. You can get a big giant gummy Coca Cola zero. Oh, oh, you can get this, dude. This yeah, thing's a fine. banger. Yeah, I tried that before. It is so good. I'll have to look around. So much good stuff. Yeah. 
I think I'm gonna try one of these for sure. These little sweet and sour watermelons and then okay. one mango. Okay. Because these okay. are always good. He's gonna do two. Okay, I see. Over here a little bit, he was gonna pick M&Ms. I'm like, dude, you can't pick M&Ms in a place where you have all these options. You can't just get the, the things you can get literally anywhere else. Why not? There's so many. <laughs> but then die I mean, too. look at that crunchy cookie sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's good, but that's just a traditional. Well, you can see everyone likes peanuts, so. Yeah, they should go to any other store and get it. <laughs> There's a lot of options here. They have a couple more things. They have some healthy posters here. They even have some Pokemon. Posties as well. But I think that's pretty much everything that we need for the collection. Like I said, our whole card is pretty much full. So let's go ahead and head back to the cavern. All right, so we are back from Five Below and we are going to start with the Krabby Patties. You guys know how we do this. We are on the hunt for the gold right here. We already have the complete set back here already, but still on the hunt for the gold. I'm not going to lie. I just like the Krabby Patties. So let's see if we get some good flavors too here. What do we got here? The original. You can't go wrong with that. It's my favorite one. And then we've got Blue Raspberry. Ryan, actually, the editor of this channel, said that his favorite flavor of the Krabby Patties was actually the grape one. What do you say is your favorite of the flavors? I've never tried them. All right. Mitchell's going to try the blue raspberry. That's my personal favorite. You can compare that guy right there to the original. So go ahead and take a bite of the original one right here. You got to try and get through that in one bite, too. I'm talking about sink your teeth in and get all the way Silent through it. Just... Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Make the sound effects of that. Succulents. All right. So what are you going to get? Pretty good, right? It's solid, yeah. It's like a really good like gummy worm or gummy bear, yeah. Okay. So now he's trying out the blue raspberry. Let's check it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh, I, I kind of do like the blue one. Nine out of ten, and this is like a the same nine out of ten. Yeah, I like these both equally. We move nowhere with that, Mitchell. You okay. Them <laughs> okay, I'll put this one at the ten nine. <laughs> okay, there we go. So one Mitchell try them out so we can get learn a little bit about what Mitchell's favorite flavors of the Krabby Patties are. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Oh, we got the bubble bass. It looks like somebody forgot the pickles. Oh, <laughs> Mitchell. Well, that's why there's no foods allowed in the cavern. What about all that? No edible food allowed in the cavern. But let's see what we got here in the next one. Come on. Ooh, that thing flew out like a little projectile. We got Fred, which actually, wait a minute. That was the one that was missing was Fred. I actually thought we had all of them, but it turns out we were actually missing Fred. So you guys can see we have our whole crew right there. Fred was nowhere to be seen. And the man can never say my leg again because he didn't have it. <laughs> he ain't got nothing but a brown. That looks like a whopper. <laughs> I gotta say, this one's awesome. Stick around with Adam here in the collection, but we gotta go scan of him. We got something new there. All right, then next up, we got this Rugrats Jumbo Coloring Book. Now, let me see if we do have this one already. I was not sure, but if we did, oh damn, I think it is. Is this the same one? No! <laughs> it's the same one, so we end up with two. I gotta get this thing listed out. All right, so the other one will be going on the mystery bag and whatnot too, because we really already had that. But next up here, man, we got the disco ball. Let's do it. This thing is so cool. I feel like you're not getting a good reflection in here, though. Can you see it a little bit? Yeah, not like Oh, you put it on the table, oh, you can kind of see it a little bit better. There it is. I don't know if we're going to put it in the cavern anywhere, because I mean, it doesn't really reflect the light too far. I think like in the bathroom or somewhere smaller, it would actually work out a little bit better. Yeah. I got to say, I do like it. You know what this means, though? What? Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Come on! <laughs> Mitchell, you gotta do it with me if I'm gonna be doing it. I'll be careful with that. Be careful with what, Mitchell? <laughs> <laughs> the 80s worked hard on that. <laughs> but the 80s worked hard on my sister, too. But I'm from the 90s, where we're entitled to disrespect. It looks crazy on camera <laughs> when you're spinning it. It looks almost yeah. clear. Oh, we're freaking losing some of the shine off of this guy. Okay, <laughs> let's stop playing with it too much here. But we got the awesome disco ball. I'll be putting it in my bathroom for sure. <laughs> Next up, we found the Momo's AirPods case. And like I said, we already have the Aang one in the collection here. But Momo is too damn cute. As you guys know, I've already finished the Avatar series here. And I want to do a video breaking down my favorite episodes from the series. I have to say, man, Momo is my favorite character from the entire show. As far as the animals go, of course. There are some awesome animals in all of Avatar as a whole. Top got taught earth bending and also how to deal with like her lack of vision from actual moles. But my favorite animal is still Momo because there's so many times where he swoops in last second and saves them or grabs something that they need. That's my personal favorite is Momo though. Yeah, Momo's really cool. I also really like the little turtle duck. A turtle swimming duck? Swimming around. Yeah, yeah, I kind of remember. They didn't have like two little babies too. Yeah. <laughs> they're, like, they're cute, but kind of like 
like that's be weird to see in real life. So I'm so glad we got the Momo ear pods right here, so we can add this one to our avatar collection up there on top. <laughs> okay, so the next up we have the heart shaped Krabby Patties here. I'm not gonna open these guys because we've seen heart shaped Krabby Patties before. We have some of the early versions right here. You, we've had these in the collection for a long time. They've been doing these since pretty much the first couple years of them making the Krabby Patties. But these ones do come with Valentine's Day cards, and I can't lie, man. As a kid, I would have loved to have given a Krabby Patty Valentine's Day card. Did you ever have a your school where they had to actually bring Valentine's Day, but you had to bring them for the whole class because you couldn't exclude anybody. Yeah, I remember making them like 30 or so <laughs> every year. That was such nostalgic memories. And there's always that one kid that would flex and like put money in them or something. Or just like really good candy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have the little box in the desk? Uh, I don't think I did. Yeah, I remember I had a little box in my desk that we would buy. And Ryan will put up on screen. You put a little box on your desk and it would have a little envelope hole where people could put in their Valentine's Day cards, you know? That sounds way cooler than what I did. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I think they just threw them on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, this is all mine. All this love and juicy candy is mine. But I remember having that thing filled up and just knowing it was like almost as good as Halloween, having that whole container of candy. And not just that, you got it at school too. You can't beat that. So we got these. We're going to add them to the collection. Again, we're not going to open them up. We've already seen them, but a nice piece to add. Okay, so then next up, we have some Ben 10 figures here. And this is from the Ben 10 reboot. I don't really know if the voice is still done by Tara Strong though, but I swear Tara Strong plays a 10 year old boy better than any. <laughs> like nobody could repeat Benton's voice, Timmy Turner's voice. Try it. It's hero time. <laughs> I sound like I'm the chaperone on a museum field trip. <laughs> Let's go to the T-Rex exhibit. We'll dig up some fossils that definitely weren't pre-planted there, okay? It's all real, okay? And you're gonna go home and think that you were an actual archeologist and tell your parents and make yourself look like a fool. Oh, that only happened to me? Okay. But right here, guys, we have the two Ben 10 characters right here. This is not my stink fly. No, yeah, the other <laughs> one's green. He's got like six arms and he's got, <laughs> and he's got nasty, multiple eyes, yeah. Yeah, and he's got nasty green slime cutting out of him that, that makes him stinky. This guy doesn't look stinky. He actually looks rather clean, honestly. This is like the more mature one. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit weird. But this is the new stink fly, I suppose. It's still an awesome one we don't have in this set. We also got the Out of the Omnitrex one, which are you are you familiar with Out of the Omnitrex means? No, not at all. Because I know the normal diamond head is typically blue, but this one's a bright green, which is kind of sick. Okay, so apparently this whole thing, the Out of the Omnitrex, is apparently when Ben's watch glitches, possibly in the reboot, and it leaves him in a semi-transformed state where he still kind of has the green glow but not only do they have an out of the omnitrex diamond head they also have a heat blast and some other characters as well so now i kind of want those too all right favorite ben 10 alien besides accelerate because everybody's favorite is accelerate you can't deny that i like ghost freak and like upgrade honestly more than accelerate yeah damn okay ghost freak's awesome but i'm going with accelerate if you guys have a favorite ben 10 character let me know in the comments all right mitchell got candy he got freaking cookie dough bites and high chew none of these are classic this is classic i guess but this is like kind of a weird one i, never I just wanted it. to try this i'm gonna be <laughs> honest but i love high chews i got these guys right here i got sour belts you know classic the only licks i had as a child were from the belt so these resonate for me <laughs> okay but not just that i'm saving the best item for last of course we gotta think fast mitchell oh okay think Dude. fast oh okay okay i'm thinking fast what we do over here all right we do that all the time think <laughs> <faster>. <laughs> oh jesus christ <laughs> I'll try and think faster. But we got the Hello Kitty ball right here, and I have some good news. We have actually cleaned up the room enough to where our basketball hoop is available back here. And if you see a Ren and Stimpy plush back there, it doesn't exist. You didn't see it, okay? So let's go ahead and try this out. Mitchell, look where I'm gonna be shooting over here. Now, I need you to get a good shot on this, okay? Come on over this side. I am gonna throw it over this whole arc, over Michelangelo, the defense, into the Cosmo and Wanda hoop. You ready for this? I am ready. I'm ready to. Okay, well, let's go ahead and set back up. All right, you ready for this? Yep. All right, mostly just don't want to hit Michelangelo. Let's do it. Damn! Oh, nice. I think I just made it in the door of basketball hoop, but I'm counting it. Let me go back on that side. I like seeing you here. It's nice. It's nice having you here, Mitchell. Well, I'm right. just gonna keep going this way. Oh, I'll touch you some more if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's usually safer than the camera. People stay on that side. It's, it, the Parker learned that. Everybody before him has learned that too. It's a uh, safe side. All right, so guys, we got the ball in the collection. I'm definitely gonna be keeping track of that. But we got some more Hello Kitty awesomeness. But before we do that, I gotta say this is really cool. I'm only gonna keep it in the collection though if we can make it look good. If he looks 
was terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna throw him in the trash where he's always wanted to be. And we're gonna forget it ever happened and forget that I did a bad job on it, okay? You agree with that? All right. You ready to delete these clips, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Make your own Forky, three, two, one. Cosmo and Wanda, I wish for he was built. I guess I'm running low today. I guess we gotta build this. <laughs> Okay, there he is. I don't think he looks too bad, man. <laughs> he looks actually really good, yeah. If we compare it to the little manual or the little picture, I think he looks pretty dang good. So, what we'll do is we have to let this thing harden for a couple hours, let the putty get solid, and then we can maybe add him to the collection. I don't think he is gonna be turned into a regular sport. I think he is actually worth keeping. Super fun and creative. Yeah, it makes it way more satisfying though that it's a collectible that you also built. So I'm really, really glad to have him in the collection. Okay, apparently it's not a couple hours. We're gonna wait like a whole day for this thing to dry, but Forky will be worth it, whether he thinks he's trash or not. Let's give Forky some time and we'll add him to the collection. Okay, the next up we got a bunch of Hello Kitty stuff, and I can't even lie, I am like obsessed with picking this stuff up because it's such a good price, and I found so much of it so cute. So we have the regular Hello Kitty design of this one right here, but now we have the pink one. The only one I haven't got is that actual rock one in the middle there, but maybe next time I will just get it just so we have the whole set. But I think the thing me and Mitchell both like the most, and Mitchell actually even thought about picking up this guy right here, and that is the Choco Cat right here. These things are so cute. Like they're made out of a really, really high quality plastic too. Cause like there's not really any scratching. Like all the scratching just kind of wipes off. But you get a little figure of Choco Cat in there. It kind of just goes around with your keys and you have this little slime fluid. I don't really know how they do this. Maybe just two different types of fluid that don't connect. But either way, it's so much fun. And it's also really high quality with the actual gold chain hanging down from it too. So there are four in the set. We got Choco Cat, we got Batsumaru. And again, guys, if I say any of the names wrong, I apologize. I am not a Sanrio expert. I am just a mere fan and a spectator of the resurgence that is happening right now. It is so much fun seeing all the products. And like you said, this is super nostalgic too, right? Yeah. And then we've got Tuxedo Sam right here. I think his color looks the best. I'm not a huge Tuxedo Sam fan just because I didn't really see this merchandise as much growing up, but I couldn't leave him behind there because I think he was the last one left for his character too. And then we got the Kuropi one, which is my personal favorite here. I just think the green looks so much like slime. And it definitely has some froggy fresh vibes in there <laughs> yeah. a little bit So I gotta say this is my favorite one that we found today and the, ugh, I just can't get over that green slime yeah, effect Yeah, that one's really clean Instant flip. It just like immediately reacts like it's like so quick Boom! There's no way you can move that fast. That's awesome. And then we have probably the most popular one nowadays. There's only one of these guys left I saw as well. And that is the My Melody one right here. And it looks like they also have a Karomi one, which I would have loved to have found, a Cinnamon Roll, and Hello Kitties. So we only need three more. If I see them at five below next time, we'll for sure be picking up the rest of this set. Okay, so now the next one up we got is Lightyear here. And I think now I have Buzz Lightyear XL1 on screen. I have XL15 on screen. I have Zerg. Now now I have Izzy Hawthorne, which, which this is the daughter of the real life Buzz Lightyear's partner. If you guys haven't seen the Lightyear movie, we get to follow her grandmother on helping Buzz go through a space mission that essentially takes her entire lifetime. And when Buzz actually does complete it, that's when we actually meet this character, Izzy Hawthorne, who is definitely not nearly as capable as her grandmother at the start, but she ends up being essential for the team and also a really fun new Pixar character. The box is a little torn up right here, but I didn't want to leave her behind, so. We got it right there for $5.99. Now I feel like I need to get socks because socks is the only pop from the line that we're missing. So we might as well just pick up socks if we ever see them. I hope he comes in a pair because I'm tired of buying single socks, Mitchell. And the next one, you were surprised because you have this pop and that is, you know. You and know, I know yeah. you know. Yeah, see, but that's, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like I spent $10 for him and he was only like $5.95. Yeah, below. so I got a little bit of a come up right here. I have the Asta already. So now I only need one more to complete this set. And I've gotten all of them, I think at five below. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mitchell is a big Black Clover fan, but we'll save this guy a little bit more for the anime. We're definitely gonna have to do a five below anime hunt very soon. There was a lot of cool stuff there, but we got, you know, and you know we did. All right, this guy is a small one, but we might as well go over it, and that is the foil balloon. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because we're not even gonna blow it up, but I will put it inside of our files for the filed section. And we have a filing cabinet coming very soon, so we'll be able to actually take all of our files out of this container over here and put all of our files into an actual filing cabinet so then we can organize all of our files, anything that we get in here that needs to be preserved, we'll have an actual place for it. But for the last item, we are gonna try this on, stick around. What was your favorite? 
favorite find today? I gotta say my favorite find today was this whole set right here. And we didn't get a lot of sponge, so I gotta say the, the little bit of sponge we got over here with the heart-shaped Krabby Patties, I'm glad to see a new iteration of the, the Valentine's Day cards. And then the Momo. I love Momo, so this, literally as soon as we saw that, I had a smile on my yeah. face since we picked it up. I wanna start like, if I don't have an Avatar collection that's great, I wanna have a Momo collection that's great. <laughs> yeah. I literally wish I could own our, let him be free, let him live his life. Well, Aang owns him, kind of. Kind of. I want my own Momo. <laughs> I'll say it. But what was your favorite item today? Oh, the Forky's pretty up there too. I gotta say Momo or the the jacket that you have, the sweater. Cause yeah. the 90s Nickelodeon, yeah, that's sick. Yeah, that literally encapsulates the channel here. So much awesomeness in one. And I gotta say, I mean, the red, white, and blue is very uh, patriotic too. So, you know, shout out to America. Shout out to Canada. Shout out to Mexico. Shout out to all of you beautiful people. But let's go ahead and try this on. We're gonna add a couple items here into the collection. But before that, you guys know the drill. Scan it. Okay, so we are of course gonna add Fred and his lack of legs into the collection right here. Of course, we better buy the Krusty Krab because he's always shouting, Hey, all you people! Hey, all you people! Won't you wobble with me? <laughs> awesome to see Fred in there. I'll reorganize these guys a little bit better later, but we got the whole set now, excluding SpongeBob, but that's okay. We have a lot of SpongeBobs. And for this guy, we're gonna add it with our files, which is right here for right now. But we are working on very, very soon, probably next week, we'll be having the filing cabinet where all those and more will be going inside. All right, Momo is gonna be going on to the Avatar airlift. <laughs> Avatar airlift. Until we build the actual Avatar sky lift. So for the Forky, I decided to put him right next to my original Woody. This is my childhood Woody. Since we didn't build this Forky by hand, I think it's cool that he goes right there. Hopefully that clay hardens up and it does stay like that. If so, he'll be staying in the collection. Okay, and Hawthorne, I'm gonna put over here with all these Toy Story Pops, really. As you guys see, you have the XL1 over there along with the XL15. So I figure we add Hawthorne right here. Like I said, all we're missing is that socks now. And I, I feel like we kind of need to get it. And for the Hello Kitty and the Y2K stuff, we always put it in this bin right here. Again, I have no clue what I'm doing with this entire collection, but I'm just continuing to grow it, so it's in there. <laughs> Okay, and you know, we had to add, you know, right here next to Asta. And of course, we are in the anime room currently, as you can tell by the huge little wall of anime Funko Pops. Okay, so it looks like I actually did have the out of the Omnitrex diamond head, but that's okay. I'll be putting this guy on whatnot. Again, if you guys aren't following me on whatnot, make sure you guys go follow. You get $15 off your first purchase. And not just that, I stream over there every Wednesday and Friday and do giveaways throughout the entire night. So make sure you guys don't miss those streams. And again, the link will be down below. Below. But we also have Stinkfly and there's no room for him. I don't know. I think I might take Ben down and put Stinkfly up and I'll put Ben somewhere else because he's more like encapsulative. Yeah. Yeah, where he's all the aliens right here. So for right now, we'll go ahead and take Ben down. I don't think Stinkfly should go on top though, right? Put Accelerate up there. <laughs> all right, let's go to Accelerate right here. And then we got the Heat Blast and then right here we'll do Stinkfly. So boom, now we've got Stinkfly right here. And like I said, Ben, I will relocate him in some place more encapsulated. Right now, we can just keep all the aliens right here. Okay, so usually in the five below videos, we don't do a lot of good noodle ratings just because it's five dollars and the fact that you're even getting it for five bucks kind of makes it worth it most of the time. But for the hoodie, man, I gotta say, this was ten dollars a little bit more. But when I put this, like, you gotta miss, this is sick. Yeah, this is sick. This is dope as all hell. But not just that, like, when I'm like walking around, this, do you think that I paid ten dollars for this? No, nah, at least thirty. Yeah, like, I would assume it was at least maybe twenty, twenty-five. Maybe they got it at Target and they we're just lucky to get one while it's in stock. But this guy does not look like $10. And even wearing it, I've, as somebody who's worn the Five Below t-shirts many times, they feel like $5 t-shirts. You're just kind of lucky they happen to have licenses on them. But this guy actually feels like a genuinely nice hoodie. If you feel that, dude, it's got some level of thickness oh, to yeah, it. Wow. I gotta give this 10 good noodle stars on the screen. And I gotta say, like, I couldn't give that a more hearty 10 good noodle stars just because of the fact that I really hope they drop more stuff like this. This is an amazing hoodie for $10. It honestly makes me question every other hoodie I have in my closet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I spent more than 15 on this, you know? Yeah, I've got hoodies in my closet that are six of these. You know, that is a rip when you think about it. I've got a nice little hood on there too. Let me show that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's actually for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys smack that like button, subscribe if you guys are new here, and make sure you guys check out this video on your screen right here. We're the last epic video on this channel. I know you guys are gonna love it, but not just that, we have a banger video coming up that I can't wait for you to see. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss it. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I will see you, beautiful people, in the next one. Adios. Bloop.